I want you to tell me, when you grow up, what do you want to be? Here we are in Darwin. We've got our team assembled. We've got our food and water packed. We're going to put 2,000 Ks under the wheels of these shiny SUVs, and I don't think they'll be looking so shiny by the end of it. The Catalyst program is Sonic Healthcare's corporate responsibility program and it's an opportunity for Sonic to pay back to contribute to the health and well-being of individuals not only in Australia but around the world. This week we're doing a series of medicals for the Clontarf group, working our way down from Jabiru to Catherine and then on to Tennant Creek. Got about 20 boys coming over from Arnhem Land. We've got the boys coming across the East Alligator River. They've just got to wait for the tide to be right so they can cross. The water's not too deep where the crocs are waiting. We've got our team here ready to go. We've got our nurses, we've got our pathology collectors, we've got a couple of doctors, and we're going to do their annual health assessments. Ben, yeah. you're on the right. Nice to meet you, mate. How's your shoulder after you broke your collarbone? Are you OK to shoot now that you've broken your shoulder? No, it's me. It's me. As a medical practitioner who works in the city, I'm very used to having all of the resources and health services at my fingertips. Out here, it's very different. One of the biggest challenges with healthcare in the NT is physical distance, Darwin being 1,000 k's away and Alice Springs 500 south. If there's some sort of emergency health problem, the vast distances one has to travel creates huge challenges for the health teams on the ground here. <laughs> The health checks are really important for our fellas. We don't have access to specialists all the time or even some normal health checks. A few issues have popped up. One of them today might be diabetic, I, I think. Um, a bit of a murmur in the heart. Uh, could likely be rheumatic heart fever. And the third one was hypertension or, or high blood pressure. This is the root of why we are here. The earlier you can intervene and the more action you take, and the earlier you can take that action, the better the outcomes are. Good health means opportunities for education, for work and employment, and for building a strong life into the future for themselves. Well done. Well done. Well, it actually felt Did nice. It hurt? No, that felt nice. The more we can look after their health, the more that they can concentrate on getting an education and just living a great life. So the third one, have you found it hard to go to sleep at night? You know, lots of people find it hard to sleep at night. I do this because I think that all children deserve good health care. All children deserve to grow up in an environment where they're protected and they're taken care of. Now, anything you like. What's your favourite thing in the world? I know. Yeah. 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 You lose your head if you're not careful. <laughs> It's nice to be able to give back, you know, to help people that may not have the level of service that we have in the big cities. I'm uh, a very lucky person to be able to be involved in this sort of process. At the end of the health check, the boys often thank us for coming out and for doing the health assessments, but I just want to thank the boys for coming and meeting us and sharing with us. They're the reason why we come out. They're the guys that give us the passion. That's what we're here for. When I grow up, I want to be a football player. When I grow up, I'm going to join the Premier League. I'll be anime producer. When I grow up, I want to be a carpenter. When I grow up, I want to be a mechanic. I want to be a policeman. 